Hello. Welcome to Stormhaven. I'm Hello. Nicola. I'm Mark. <laughs> uh, we have a big tree behind us, as Mark pointed out just a minute ago. Um, <laughs> the cow in the background? <laughs> That's our bull, Bo. And he's telling us off because he thinks he should be fed for a third time today, which is not going to be done. No. Okay, so we got a bit happening this fortnight. We've got to do Mark's begonias. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't quite get to see all the roses last fortnight, but hopefully we'll get a picture of a few. A uh, couple of them are quite confused and they think it's summer already and just bursting with flowers. Yep. The uh, fruit trees are in and they're actually starting to open up all their leaves. Uh, I will try and get a couple of those. I just can't promise. Uh, as you saw, we um, we finished the, the shack last week. Uh, no, no, we're starting... Finished. We haven't done the roof yet. Well... Yeah, okay. Uh, but we're starting to move everything in there, so that's coming <clears> together really well. Uh, one of the things we do need to do, we need to sit down and we need to do our seed planting. We haven't done mm. that yet, so. Yeah, plenty to do. Yes. Uh, but anyway, as always, please, if you have a comment for us, feel free. Uh, let us know what you think. Give us some ideas. Um, we do really like to hear from people. Uh, take a moment, please, if you could, and subscribe to the channel. Remember to choose the all notifications so you don't miss out on um, on anything that's coming up. Uh, the last episode we did, no, two episodes back, was a uh, was a bonus. Um, so sometimes we'll put up a, the odd thing here or there mm. in the middle of the cycle. So that's why the, the bell notification is so important. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, other than that, tulips, daffs, we'll have a look at how they're going. Animals are going wild. Animals are going wild. Uh, lots of wildlife getting about again. So I think the weather has tricked everyone thinking it's spring already. Yeah, the, the cherry's starting to, to go. Uh, one of the peaches actually has fruit on it. Mm. So <laughs> he's being slightly belligerent today. <laughs> Louder. <laughs> anyway, we might best should go inside so he stops seeing us and stops going off his nut. Mm. But we'll see you during the episode. Yeah, one could say that's a lot of bull. Okay, these are our tomatoes. Now, they're a little bit yellow on the bottom. We probably need to give them a really good feed. Um, but we've been keeping them in this little greenhouse here, mainly because over winter we've had a lot of uh, quite good frosts. And so the idea is that we're growing them through the winter to get our first crop for summer. So spring. we, actually, well, spring, we actually have got tomatoes on. A little aroma there. There's yeah. one, two. Yeah. And uh, there's the three. There's another little fella just formed over there. Four. So we got a few on there. The uh, whatever he is. Uh, he's, he's a, a beefsteak one. Beefsteak one. He hasn't quite. No, he got hasn't. Lots of little yet. flowers yet. But with a, uh, Need to give him another shake. Yep. But yeah, the big thing for us at the moment is making sure that they're watered, um, filling up the reservoir trays at the bottom so <laughs> that they've got enough water during the week. So filling up the reservoir yeah, trays. Yeah, I just did. <laughs> water in there. Oh, oh. Yeah. Right. Everyone's a critic. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Nice. So, yeah, so, um, and above we've got our worm juice containers. And we've got a couple go. of bottles left over here. We are down to the last lot. Uh, we're, probably, we're here. Let's have a look at those worms. Oh, I'll go and get the compost. Okay, Mark's going to go and run up and get the compost. Right, so we took the top layer off. And look at all those happy little worms. in them. Oh, yeah, like get one. Strike, it could be a tiger worm. He's a killer worm. Hang on, here we go. These worms are different. They've tasted blood, human blood. There you go. See? Actually, no, they haven't. They just eat vegetables and paper. They're very happy worms, so I'll put them back. So they're going to get their feed. As Mark said, they really like the shell. We do need to give some shell to the chooks next weekend, so. Crush it up. Yeah. So Recognise uh, it as an egg. Yeah, because they need a bit of grit again in their diet. Yes, that was Bo you just heard. She Getting cranky nice with us. Here. Sorry? That bottom one is still nice and damp. The top fell is drying out a bit. He might be drying out, but he is still damp. So. Mm -hmm. 
we have very many uses for coffee. We nearly can't keep enough coffee grounds up. Mm. Okay. Come here. Just watch yourself. I don't know. You won't get me. Okay, over towards me. No, you're in. in. Okay. Okay. So, oh, and if you can smell Mark's hands, they smell like coffee. Yum, yum. Mm. 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 That's right, he fixes. There he is. Look, belligerent bow and daft date. And there you go. And look who's back. It's the ducks. The dastardly duo ducks. Oh, there they go. So this is my view of the morning. I come out at eight o'clock. And look who's waiting for me. One and where is he? Two. Waiting. Mark said he went out this morning to work. And as he was getting in the car, he heard moo across the fence. So I better go feed them. Okay. This is our little white galah cockatoo. Oh, there he goes. He's a regular visitor. He's actually getting, where did he go? Oh, he's being one of the trees. He's actually getting quite a common visitor. The other day, he, I came out, he was in the pen, oops, in the pen here, and just having a march around, and he's getting quite familiar with the place, and he loves that seed. Okay, this morning's work has been to um, rake out our feed chain. So this isn't our design, this was the previous owner's, but it's quite clever. Um, it's like an old container without a front, but I think it's homemade, steel shell. So tarp on the door, so that's the chickens next door. So that's what's left, I've used some of the hay that's been on the on the ground uh, for the nesting boxes the cows got an extra little treat it was a bit of old 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 stuff but anyway they didn't seem to mind so in this front bin we keep our cow grain cow food and in that one we keep the chicken food a couple of pails of hay this place was just a sea of leftover hay so cleaned it all out and uh one spare biscuit so a pair of scissors and baling twine, which I've got rid of a heap, but anyway, never have enough baling twine. Um, yeah, and we, the cows are quite fussy um, as far as um, what they like. So we reuse, recycle, reuse. So you'll see the old container in there for, um, that's for Daisy. Uh, the, actually, no, the white one's for Bo. Believe it or not, it actually holds a similar amount of uh, grain as that. So Daisy gets one of those each day. And then for the chickens, besides anything else they get, they get three scoops out the little tin and goes in the old Tupperware container. And, yeah, anyway, it's amazing what you've got around there that so you can reuse and recycle. Okay, here's these cheeky chookies. Come on, you lot. Come on, back, 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 back. back. Come on, come on, dolls. Come on. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah, food. Oh, we're starved. No one ever feeds us. Look at our poor babies. That's a chicken feed tray that we bought. They don't Oops. like. They don't like it. No, I suppose they don't know what it is, but this was one of Dad's. And, um, oops, used to get day old chickens. And you'd fill it up and they would have a lovely time peck, peck, pecking and chick, chick, chicking. So we got two of them. So we've cleaned them up. The other one's over there. The other one's over there. And these guys are like a horde of vultures. And a couple of them are freeloaders because we get three to four eggs a day. Nothing in here if you look down and the other end. we got more than three to four chickens, as you the, can tell. Excluding the rooster. We ten girls and a boy. The rooster doesn't lay eggs, of course. No. And tomorrow, I'd like to actually tie this up. This is one of our last three remaining bandies. We've had them for so long, and we've got three left, so. And they're just living out their retirement. Yeah, they're retired, they're pretty Actually, they still do lay. They do, they do lay, actually. They're, they're good little chooks. There you go, chookies.
Well, here we are. The white tulips that we showed you the other week are starting to come out. They're going all good. The jonquils are still doing their thing. We had two out of this. This has been such a big disappointment this year. You can see how the other little ones have come up and died off, and they're dead dead. So not sure what's going on there, but yeah, it just hasn't worked at all. Uh, the purple ones that were Nicola's have now dropped off, and they're going. It was interesting, three years ago, we had only just recently had our first daffodil out, so they all went a lot earlier this year, bar, bar these ones, they're yet to flower. So, um, yeah, and those ones are yet to flower. So we'll just wait and see where it goes, but the white chip, we've had limited success. But it's been with the newer bulbs, oops, uh, rather than the, the older ones, so we'll just see where we go. Okay. We can see our little fruit trees are starting to sprout. Where one's that one? Uh, that one here is almost... I can't tell you what. Me to get on. That's, I don't know, an anna. Okay, that's an anna apple. That's an anna, nana. Not a nana, 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 nana apple. <laughs> it might be like a bat apple. So that one's an apricot, it had BTS. <coughs> Okay, this one has That's it. It's a Tilton apricot, not yet. This is the other apple we had. Okay. Granny Smith, it has. That'll be Granny Smith as well. I don't think that one has yet. Doesn't look like it. The other Granny Smith has. Oh, he's almost there. His buds. <coughs> the, the pear has started to has shoot. As well, they're both fascia roses. That was a pear. Yes. So the two pears have paired off. Down the bottom. Yep. Oh yeah. Hard to see a little bit, but yeah, no, all good. We've lost one banana in the frosts. Yeah, yeah, I'd say. And it needs a bit of a clean up. Uh-huh. Anyway, he's a bit sad. That one's going good. He's got burnt, so we'll just see whether he comes back or not. We probably need to put one over there and one here so that they're yeah. under the. Mm -hmm. Alright, when to do the peach? Yep. I gave that a water. I'm still waiting, but it's not looking good. So, Lychee, he's um, been the saddest of all the ones we bought last year. He did not go well in summer. No. The peach. Got little peaches on them. So, he needs to be sprayed again this weekend. Yep. The guavas have settled in. Here, yep. The guava and the apples have settled in there. And the little peaches that were These nibbled were the... are coming back nicely. These were the munched ones. The other one, yeah. the other one's bigger. Jeez. All right, what are you doing, Mr. Pitt? May the fourth force. Force, force, be with you. Okay, yep, so what's your plan? Ooh, that didn't sound good. No. <laughs> um, yeah, so what, what's your plan? What are you doing here? We're going to plant some lilies. What kind of lilies? Cannon lilies. Canna. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> You're just so predictable. What? Oh, Darth has got cobwebs on him. Look at that. Look at these spiders. Well, they will. Well, these little helmets fatigue him. Mm. He's been out in the campaigns too much. So we harvested these from uh, William Street. We had them growing our everywhere. Old house. Our old house. They was growing everywhere. Some of them look a bit mouldy. Well, he looks very mouldy. Okay, him? I didn't do any mouldy ones. So. No, 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 I just don't. He looks very mouldy. Mm. So anyway, so... Um, We've put some down in Jiffy Pots as well. Yep. To sort of see if we can get some... Uh, going. Um, We've got quite a few. Yeah, we got. We did. They used to. They come up. They frosted very heavily every year, because where we were was lots and lots of frost. We were in a gully. Yep. 
and so they burnt right off but then they just self-set they just went like a house on fire so where they were in the back when we got there we took some around the front and they grew like terrific and so they'll be there we got him um thinking about and this is like really poor deep. soil yeah but they were actually they grew really well in really poor soil because where we uh, had the garden bed um, was literally started on shredded paper and uh, potting mix. It was, and um, oh, I think I put a bit of straw down. I had some mulch. We did. <clears throat> so anyway, so look, we've still got them in their little seed pods and everything. Well, I crushed up a heap of seed pods. Yep. Oh, there, these ones are better ones too. I don't know if you can see them, like yeah. little black seeds. So I'm just going to chuck a smattering in everywhere. And if we can get a batch growing, and they will... Uh, we'll need to tell our waterer that she'll need to water here this week. Oh, yeah, probably not. Thankfully, that urgent if she misses them, but anyway. Um, yeah, if we can get a, a clump of them growing here on the edge of the pond, and mind you, which is way. looking very low again. Yeah, I mean, the evaporation as, is just killing it. As I sort of said earlier, um, the weather has just been so dry. There has been no rain. So August is zero so far. And what are we today? 26, 27. 27th. Yeah, we've had like no rain at all in August. I don't know. Did we have different colours? Can you remember? No, I thought we only had one colour. Yeah. I was going to order you some pinks, but I didn't. No, no it's all good. No, all good. So anyway, so we'll... Because these are, as always, Mark's sort of thing. So I'm not a big canna lily fan, but Mark likes them. So, no, you know, no. this is a really good spot for them. It's out of the main Well, And then they grow area. and they just can clump and go wild here. And it's the corner of the pond. And eventually if we even so need that's to one of our it. olives and then that's a little native that we bought we can't remember what it is it's nearly died three times <laughs> or more it gets watered now four times a week yeah. so but it's it's a tough little bugger it needs to be how far would you go three rows and just see how we go well, you can fill the whole thing. Because oh, if it, if they don't come up, that's not the end of the world. And if they do, well, that's fine too. Well, this way again, oh, okay. When they, anyway, yeah, they can come up. They well, come do up, one more row. They come up thick, hey? Yeah, do one more row, and then you can... And then that takes you to about halfway along. Because once they, once they get a foothold, they are... Um, They're like weeds. Rampant, yes. <coughs> But as you can see, this is really poor soil. So this, oh, pardon me. this is what's left of that original bark mulch that we bought when we moved here. Which was a forest. <laughs> it's um, wood. And it hasn't yet broken down properly, but uh, when we moved here, we got, I think, three or four cubic metres because we needed something. And they said to me, oh, no, it's, you know, it's good mulch. It'll, yeah, no. So, Someone was uh, working on a wood chipper. <laughs> uh, it wasn't mulcher, they were trying to make paper. Yeah, so anyway, so it's really poor. Uh, but as I said, the canners actually like poor, a poor environment. Well, we has always been our experience. experience with them, yeah. So, um, yeah, so it's not a huge problem. Actually, the other thing I've noticed today, and I don't know if Mark has... Um, the birds are fighting each other for a mate. And I've been noticing the little birds and they're dive bombing each other to get to the girl bird. So maybe they could phone a friend. They just want to chat. I don't think there's any chatting going on, oh, darling. Not that sort of mate. Oh. No. No. Mate. Okay. Mate. 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 Phone a friend.
right, what you just saw was um, Nicola mowing. The uh, bit that we're mowing is where the septic sewage comes out, the grey water, oh, the black water, I suppose. Um, we just got a couple of little patches. This is up by the pool filters. So the rest of the yard, we haven't had any rain for August, so everything is dry. And you've got these couple of little green patches that just need a tidy up. So it's that time of year again where I have to sit down and start thinking about our planting. So over here, I've got three natives. I've got a Heath Banks here, a West Australian Christmas tree and a pincushion huck here. Um, never grown Australian natives before from seed, so it's going to be a bit different. Uh, in this little packet here, we've got the um, peanut seed. So... Uh, we know that that went really well last year. What you see on the table is my short list. So we've got some carrots. We have a, an all season. We have a baby pack. And then we have a top weight improved. Uh, in the parsnips, we actually have a hollow crown. I really, really like parsnips. I haven't had a lot of success getting them up. I'm going to have another go because, you know, you keep trying until you get it right. The celery, we have a tall Utah. Again, we haven't had great success getting them to grow here in the South Burnett. Could be something I'm doing wrong, so we're going to try something a bit different. Uh, we've got two types of onions. So we've got an early Pacoki long keeper, which is a brown, and we have a white Spanish onion, which is obviously a white. In the squash, we are going with the golden scallopini. We were overrun with them last year, which is really good. We have a Space Master cucumber to go down. In the capsicums, we're going to keep it fairly simple this year. We are doing a mini sweet mix. For the zucchinis, we are going with Black Beauty. Hopefully, we'll be more successful than last year. I have here two bags of green manure mix. What we'll do is any beds that aren't being used this year, we're going to put this down and we'll grow that. Then we can cut it and put it back through the uh, soil to help improve it because the soil is actually really poor. We have a beneficial bug mix. So this is to get the um, pollinators to come in. Chilies. We're going to do a jalapeno and then I have a red mix. It just says red chili seeds. So they're ones that I harvested in May of this year. And of course, here comes the wind just to blow everything over, you know, just because it can. We have a watermelon. So this one here is a crimson sweet. We'll put some more asparagus seed down, see how we go. We actually have a couple up already, so which is great. I have a strawberry seed pack. I really don't know how successful this is going to be. I've had them for a while. I've never really done very well. I've got to stick them in the freezer. Uh, I've got a golden sweet bantam. Uh, we were doing really well until the birds ate them last year, so they need to be undercover. We have an early wonder beetroot and a chogya. We've got fennel seeds. Um, never started them from seed before. That's going to be interesting. Our bean department, we have got, oops, sorry about that. We have snake beans. We have a bush bean heirloom mix. We have black turtle beans. We have snap beans and butter beans. And then we get to the tomatoes. The tomatoes, I like to be a bit um, more eccentric with my number of choices. So we have a Costa Luta de Mamond. I really, really like the Costa Luta de Mamond. They are a great tomato. They are very underrated. Uh, Romas. We have yellow pear. We have a red cherry. We have a brandy wine, which is, again, a really nice tomato. We have a beef steak because you always need a, a good beef steak, particularly if you're going to use them on um, burgers. And then a climbing tommy toe because they're a good basic as well. In terms of the pumpkin seeds, um, you will remember I tried some. I put them 
on wet paper in the windowsill. They went mouldy. So <laughs> I'm going to have another go. Uh, I think maybe it was, it was just still too cold. So I'll put another batch down of those. I'll put some on the paper. I'll do some in the seedling tray. And I will do some... Uh, straight in the garden bed. We just haven't got the cover up yet because we've been really busy. My car is sitting here because I've actually gone and picked up all the bottles and cans that we collect um, and put them in our big tubs ready to take to containers for change tomorrow morning. I've also got to go and pick up some more hay for the cows. Uh, it is really dry. We have had not a drop of rain this month. It is just terrible. So um, we are feeding uh they're getting half a biscuit in the morning they're getting a biscuit each well they get half a biscuit each in the morning they get a whole biscuit each in the afternoon plus a scoop of it's a hobby fix a hobby fix hobby mix grain um and that's just keeping them you know sort of happy and fed at the moment particularly with daisy we think she's in calf we haven't seen any more movement we need to keep her in really good condition um, so that she carries successfully. She is actually due to calve next March is the timetable. So uh, she'll calve before it gets really cold, which is good. Uh, and then uh, the calf will be big enough to s obviously get through the winter uh, and then we'll be ready uh, for the butcher come December next year when we get back from our next trip, which we'll tell you about at a later point. So there's quite a bit going on. Uh, we're at that time of the year where we're just trying to get stuff done, get stuff down, uh, get the planting started so that we'll survive through uh, the hot months. So far, there's no sign of any potatoes coming up. The leeks are almost at their end. We're picking the last of them and using them up. Um, the lettuces are starting to bolt, so I'm I'm trying desperately to uh, take the tops off and, and give them some longevity uh, down in the vegetable, um, in the veggie pod. But anyway, uh, we'll show you more of those at a later point. Okay, I'm not sure how well you can see that, but hopefully the pink is coming through. Aren't they glorious? And it's still winter, so I think... Uh, a couple of our roses have got a bit confused with the season and have gone gangbusters too quick. And that is a oop, brilliant pink iceberg. And if I can get my shadow so you can get the, the pink without the sun bleaching it, aren't they glorious? Alright, here's Nicola with the two favourite cows. My only two cows at the moment, but I'm hoping Daisy's making another one. Yep. Uh, and we're very hungry, can't you feeding tell? Feeding time at the zoo. Mm -hmm. Hey, Bo. Hello. Good oh, boy. You're a poser. You're a good yeah. boy, Bo. You're a poser. He's lovely and soft. He's very tufty and velvety, which is lovely. Hello, Bo, baby. <laughs> he goes, go away, Daddy, I'm eating. Yeah. Hey, Daisy. I don't know how well you'll be able to see, but it is seriously windy. It's blowing an absolute... Uh, August winds in Australia and Queensland. Exhibition time, so it's a little bit a week so late. Yeah, you will hear it really easy. See and the leaves. Palms. The palms. There you go. Where's and the bumps? Yep. Uh, and she's all moving. Anyway, that's dinner for this afternoon. Some grain and some hay. Hello. You're a good boy. Yes, you are. We get to have a little pat, only little. That's my boy. Yeah. Only little. No, I'm not going to get any more. I've had three hugs already. Yep. And no. Always remember, he's a large animal and a bull. Yes. And they are unpredictable. As much as they're quiet. And he is a little bit pushy. He's a lot pushy. He likes to eat the food and push Daisy out the way. Well, what a difference a couple of weeks makes. So, uh, remember, we planted all those new fruit trees. So this is the only one so far where the leaves haven't opened, but as you can see, they're well and truly there. So everything else is opening up. Uh, they've made the transplant really well. Um, a few things we need to do, but we're not gonna do them just yet. A couple of them, just if I can find one that's like, oh, over here. So what's happened is 
We've actually had growth. Oh, there you go. Uh, below the um, the graft. So we're just going to let them get a bit bigger, and then we're actually going to take everything from below the graft off, so that it is only the uh, in this case the apricot varietal that we want to keep. But yeah, it's looking really good. The only one we are really worried about now is the lychee. Uh, we may have lost it. The peaches that were being eaten off by whatever it was, we think it may have been a hair. Uh, the bags have done their job and they've come back really, really well. There's one of the apples. That's the plum cot. The cherry is looking great. So this is our new growth on the peach. And both those peaches now are quite happy. Uh, and up by the, well, what we now call the studio, the rose here is coming back really well. And we actually have flower buds on this rose. But this one is the one that's come earlier okay so these were ones that mark had started out in my um lily beds they hadn't had any water and so they hadn't run, the others had been soaked in water until they rooted these two just broke off so stick them in the ground and see what happens and they did we did whack them in we did <laughs> so mark's just backfilling them and giving them their best chance to um to grow so and that gets them out of my lily bed ready for my lilies to come up and do their thing both of them root, got little root balls and so like so which is good and that's not very good compost but it's... No. don't I'm not, waste any i'm not sure mm -hmm. i might give this to mark in a moment and we actually have a little visitor oh, yeah. in the bird feeder so He'll just take the phone for a minute. Oh, he's wandering. That's a, oh, there's a car. Oh, yeah. There's your car. There he is. Got his mate on the roof. And they're having a lovely time. Normally there's a big white, oh, there he goes. Both of them in there now. White galah that just love in the feeder. He spends a lot of time in there. But these two are having a grand old time. I'm thinking we need to get at least another one or two feeders around here and yep. just keep encouraging the bird life. Mm. Um, they're safe here. There's no, mine, we don't have a cat. That's There's outside. No bird, so um, they can be out here safely. Well, it's Sunday afternoon. We're sitting here In at the, the back. Sun. Mark's complaining. Look how shiny you are. Look at that. Uh, I will be fine. Look at that. Look at the shine. Okay. So uh, we didn't get to show you the roses again, um, but we did show you the fruit mm. trees. I think I've got one photo of a rose, the little pink one. Yeah. Yeah. I got some video of it. Me too. Too. Did you? Yes. I did. There you go. It's very pretty. Very so, pretty pink. Uh, it hasn't been a hugely it's... active week this week. Last week we did a little bit more on the um, the shack slash studio. Well, over this period we've been sick too. Oh, we have. We've, we've had COVID. Had COVID. Um, things. the other thing, our first potatoes are up. Yay! Everything's confused. They think it's spring already. Mm -hmm. Okay. You were talking about the birds being confused before. Yeah, a little Earlier bit. Earlier this week, today. <laughs> anyway, we're going to keep this short and sweet. We got lots of bird pictures over the last fortnight, actually. We have, and we had what we reckon looked like butcher agars today in mm. the wild this afternoon, just before uh, in, the, in the in the bird so feeders. They were wild. Hey, they didn't look happy. Particularly anyway, when you disturbed them. This is getting a bit hard on my arm, <laughs> so I'm going to keep this short and sweet. So. Um, Please uh, take a moment to subscribe to the channel if you found something useful or interesting. Um, feel free to press the notification bell and choose all. Uh, leave us a comment if you've got something that you'd like to tell us or something you'd like to say. But I'm going to say goodbye from me. Bye. And we'll see you again in two weeks.